Have you heard of this man? This is Simone Toko, a Congolese black man who it is known had abilities like Jesus. Simone Toko was a believer and was renowned for performing supernatural miracles. As he became more and more known for these supernatural miracles, people could not ignore it. And when he started to preach, more and more people would listen to him. It got to a point that he got so much recognition and notoriety from the people that the cabal had to try and stop him, tried to kill him gruesomely numerous of times. Needless to say, it never worked. You know, they could shoot him in the head and his skull would just regenerate and the flesh would grow back and uh, he was fine. And remember, I was told at the time that if I disclosed this, that I would be uh, killed. As you heard, these attempts on his life just didn't work and there were numerous of them. Failed after failed attempt. The cabal finally attempted a truce with him and they said, okay, we're gonna bring you to the United Nations. You're getting some type of help from some type of God and we're gonna let you tell your story in front of the United Nations. He later boarded a plane and it ended up being a setup. They shot him numerous times in his head. They then chopped his body up in small pieces. They put them in radioactive containers that would deteriorate his flesh. They flew these boxes across the world in different places of the world. And they thought that because they did all of this, it would prevent him from regenerating. Well, what happened later in the meeting there at the United Nations? Well, he then regenerated in, in their office and was fully fine, fully intact. But the sad part is that he said, you know, you guys so badly do not want me to be here that I am not gonna be able to do any more. In the future, many others like me will be coming and when they do, you will not be able to stop us. So what does Simon mean by there will be more like me coming in the future and you won't be able to stop them? Is this even biblical? The answer is yes, this is 100% biblical and the Bible references it and talks about it in many different places. The first place we'll go is Joel. Joel mentions an end time army of God that will come at the end of the age. Nobody has ever seen anything like them, neither before or will you see anything like them after. And we're talking about everybody before, including Jesus and including Adam. Jesus himself says in the gospel, the church, the sons of God, will do the miracles he did and even greater. Romans 8 talks about the manifestation of the sons of God at the end of the age. It says that they will be glorified beings. Their bodies will literally be changed from a corruptible nature to an incorruptible nature. Their bodies will be supernatural superior to the natural. And it says that all of creation waits for these sons of God to be revealed because when they, when their bodies are transformed, so will the rest of the earth be transformed right along with them. The earth will go back into the state that it was in before Adam fell. Once Adam fell, so did the earth fell right along with him. But once the end time army of God, once they're restored, so will the earth be restored right along with them. The same army of God is spoken about in the book of Revelations chapter 14. It says that these will be the first fruits of God redeemed from the earth. They will wear the name of the son and the name of the father. This is the same group of people that the glory of Jesus will be revealed in. Remember, the Bible says the latter house will be greater than the former house. This is the group of people that Simon is referring to, and he knew this by the revelation of God. These people are in the earth today. These people are going through a process, a process of transformation, a process of change, a process of washing and healing and being restored. This is the true reason why Jesus died on the cross. It wasn't for us to live a good life and to go to heaven. If that was the case, what is the cloud of witnesses still waiting for? They're all in heaven. So what promise are they still waiting for? That promise is to come into perfection and to receive the glory of God. There is a people who the Bible says will come into this promise first and the cloud of witnesses, the great cloud of witnesses will enter into that promise right along with this group of people. Jesus came to make this way possible so that being restored into this glory that we fell from when Adam's sin could be made possible. And this, regardless to your theology, your eschatology, is what the end 
time move of God is going to consist of. This is not revival, not simply revival anyway, but it is the final and the greatest move of God that the world has ever seen, where the knowledge of the glory of God shall cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. Where every nation, tribe, and tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord and every knee shall bow. Where the saints of God in Revelations 26 will rule and reign with Christ for a thousand years on the earth. A nation of kings and priests that will reign on earth. Get right with the Lord because this day it will be great if you are prepared, but it will be terrible if you are not. God bless you.